Kia here's another question from yesterday's algebra paper, mainly for next year's level 2 students, but also for anyone who's curious who sat the paper yesterday. So this is question 1c, um, and we're given a polynomial, p of x, is equal to all of this. So we can see that again it's a quadratic, and we're told it can be written as a perfect square, and we have to find the value of m. So you've got to think about what do you know that links up to how you can write something as a perfect square. So let's first look at some really easy examples of perfect squares. If we have x minus 2 squared, then we know that that graph looks like this, right? Whoops, that's meant to touch there. So that's sitting out there. If we've got y equals negative x minus 4 squared, that's going to be out here hanging like that. Right, so hopefully you're already getting the idea that if something is a perfect square, then it might be over here or it might be up here, but it's just going to touch the x-axis. And if you spot that, you'll link that up, hopefully, to the idea of the discriminant. So what we're trying to do in here is to explain that for a perfect square, we need the discriminant to be 0. So perfect square means that b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. And this is one where we're given the um, a, b, and c very um, clearly, right? So a is 2m minus 1, b is m plus 1, and c is m minus 4. So let's now just work that through and get b squared minus 4ac. Well, I've got m plus 1 squared minus 4 times a, 2m minus 1 times, let's see if I can go this way, m minus 4. Right, so let's expand that out. Well, I get m squared plus 2m plus 1 minus 4 times 2m squared minus 9m plus 4. Cleaning that up gives me negative 7m squared plus so I've got 2m here, and then I've got plus 36m here. So if I were doing that in the exam, I would write that, that out. I'm just skipping that line in here, okay? And then I've got plus 1, minus 16, which gives me minus 15. And we know that that has to equal 0. So what am I going to do with it now? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is that I hate working with a negative coefficient here, so I'm going to times it through and get this. 7m squared minus 38m plus 15 gives me 0. Let's see if we can factorise. So something times something is equal to 7 fifteenths, which is 105, and then something plus something gives me negative 38. Now it's a pretty easy one to spot. Um, I think it is anyway. So we've got negative 3 here and negative 35 here. So that tells me that it's going to factorise really easily. I know lots of you will have jumped to your graphics calculators and I've given up arguing. Um, but I would do it like this. So 7m squared minus 35m minus 3m plus 15 is 0. Factorising using our two-step method, we've got 7m into m minus 5 minus 3 into m minus 5, and we're just about there. Thank goodness. So we get 7m minus 3 times m minus 5 equals 0. So what are the two values of m that are going to work? Well, m is equal to 3 sevenths, or m is equal to 5. Let's just go back up and check that we've answered the question. And yes, we have, right? So we first of all explained what the perfect square thing is all about. And I think I probably would have done a little sketch like that as well, with maybe with even with some numbers on it. But the big idea here is that the perfect square pattern means that we've got a zero discriminant. Thanks for watching.